right, this is the uh, finished drawing for the Winter Wonderland project. And all I did was take the fish bone or the upside down V's and round them off at the top. And I drew semicircles and then branches at the bottom connecting to each snow bow. And then I did diagonal lines to show where the green will go in the painting. So you can have your students do that after they do the, the whole drawing. And I also put in um, hatch marking for the shadows beneath. So the base coats or the basic colors I used for the first layer of this painting are blue for the sky. I used a light blue, medium blue, which is a mixture of the light blue and the dark blue, a regular green for the branches, and white for the snow, of course, gray for the uh, background hills, and a mixture of a yellow and brown for the background trees, and for the um, trunk, I used just a regular brown, just a medium brown, nothing dark yet. So that's the base coat. Then once you get that base coat in, you go back and put your shading and highlights. Um, so it, it pretty much looks like a nice painting right now. So if the younger kids can't get that detailed, that's okay as long as they get a nice, a lot of color and uh, paint on the canvas. For the older kids, you may want a lot more detail. For uh, painting shading, you start with your lightest colors first and work to your darkest. This is my palette. Uh, I'm going to work with this light blue, a, a dark blue, a gray, white, brown, yellow, and dark green. That's all I'm using for the second layer. So I'm going to go inside my uh, snow and add a little mixture of dark blue and medium blue, I mean light blue, together. I need a smaller brush just to give you the idea. And it's good to keep your snow wet because if you don't, um, you just get a really kind of scrubby looking thing like I'm getting here. My snow is not wet any longer. But I'll try to do the best I can to show you how to detail using a little bit of this for the dark or the icy dark areas of the snow. Here we go, here's the next branch. So I just add these in to show very little detail. You don't want a lot of detail in this painting. You don't have time. Uh, here we go down here. Add this, little shadow here, and just, you know, tell the kids to go easy on the paint. You don't need a lot of paint for shading. Less is better once you get up to this, this part of the painting. I'm wetting my brush because my paint is no longer wet. So I have to keep turning back and getting in the water bucket. So I've added some detail to the paint. And you run that detail up into the clouds. So you just, you really don't need a lot of paint for this. This is real quick and easy. Use your, you don't want a really big brush. So when you're painting with these projects, you kind of got to keep your brushes smaller on the smaller end. So I'm adding a little detail to the clouds, a little light, I mean, airy color, blue, blue here, blue there, blah, blah, blah. Try to keep it wet and juicy here. All right, then I'm going to put a little blue between the limbs here. want the sky to show through. Uh, and maybe down here. In here. Okay. Put some more here. 
Okay, so I added the blues where I wanted it. Next I'm going to go down to the ground, the foreground completely, and put in darker shadows here using that same mixture, just adding more paint to my brush of the shadows in the snow. Okay, there's my, maybe run a line through here. These brushes are terrible. All right, add a little medium blue dab back here to the water. There. And you can even throw a little bit medium blue in here to add more texture to that mountain or hill. All right, and also if you'd like a darker sky, you can add a a thin layer of this over the light blue. It's pretty to make more of a wintery, winter, winterly look. So I'm just doing that right here. Put some sky behind these trees. Put a little sky back here. I'm going as fast as I can. And my, oops, I got green in there. You don't want to do that. I'm just rushing. Um, so next I'm going to go to gray. So I'm working my way up to the values here. So gray is my next darkest value. And I'm going to put a little gray in the clouds to give it that stormy look. Mix it in with the blue if you'd like. You feel more comfortable mixing it with that last mixture of medium blue and light blue. So I put a little gray in here. Maybe you can just kind of just do this. Just blah, blah. Punch it with the tip of your brush at the bottom of each cloud. Okay. All right. So, so what I'm going to do with that is now I take my white and I'm going to blend these together to make it look more realistic. Now remember, this is something you can do if you have time. If not, just put your basic colors down. If you're running late or if your kids are fast, just make them keep working and learning about adding layer and value to their painting. And um, how things, when they go back, they get lighter. When they come forward, they get darker in landscapes. So next we're going to look at adding detail.